Bienvenidos! Hola! Can you guess? Kung saan lilipat ang inyong lola kasama ang aking muy guapo na Chabacanong nobyo? Well, let us take you to the beautiful city of Zamboanga. Ciudad de Zamboanga is a first-class, highly urbanized city in the Zamboanga Peninsula. It is the sixth most populous and third largest city by land area in the Philippines. It is the commercial and industrial center of the Zamboanga Peninsula region. The southwest and eastern sides of Zamboanga City are bounded by irregular coastlines with generally rocky terrain and occasional stretches of sandy and gravelly beaches. The coastal profile usually descends abruptly towards the sea, where rivers enter the sea, bays have formed, and the surrounding area has filled up with alluvial soils, reducing small to large coastal plains. Yeah. Ang ilan lamang sa mga maipagmamalaki ng baybayin dagat ng Zamboanga ay ang napakasikat na Dakak, Dakak Beach at ang Grand Santa Cruz area na mayroong Pink Sandy Beach. Napakabongga. Balikan naman natin ang nakaraan. Zamboanga Peninsula was also the homeland of the ancestors of Dayakan, the Balamini, and other closely related Samabajal people. The area was inhabited by the Subanan people and was the site of trade among the Chinese, Malay, and different native ethnic groups around the area. During the 13th century, the Tausug people began migrating to Zamboanga and the Sulu archipelago from their homelands in northeastern Mindanao. They became the dominant ethnic group after they were Islamized in the 14th century and established the Sultanate of Sulu in the 15th century. A majority of the Yakan, the Balanini, and the Sama Bajau were also Islamized, though most of the Subanian remained animist, with the exception of the Kolibugan subgroup in southwestern Zamboanga. The city used to be known as Zamboangan in historical records. The name was later Hispanized as Zamboanga. You see, it has a very rich history from the time it was founded in the early 13th century as a settlement by the Subanan people. I officially welcome everyone to Zamboanga City, the city of flowers. Yan, agad kami nag-selfie sa harap ng pamahalaang lungsod ng Zamboanga. The Zamboanga City Hall is the seat of the local government of Zamboanga City. The construction of the historic building was commenced in 1905 by the federal government of the United States and was completed in 1907. As you can see, the City Hall has a Filipino colonial architectural design. The National Historic Commission of the Philippines considers the City Hall building as a national historical site. Ganda na ng dagat. Libre pa yung entrance dito. Ayan, napakasimple ng buhay ng tao dito. Ayan, black lady. Ayan, lapit kami sa uh, pier. Nasa, likod ka, nasa side kami ng Fort Pilar. Ayan, pwede ka mang isla rito. Pwede ka rin maligo. Ayan, lang maligo. Libre lang po yung entrance. Napakalinaw mo ng tubig. Paseo del Mar is located very close to the historical landmark and national museum known as Fort Pilar. Paseo del Mar is also known for its several restaurants, cafes, and entertainment as well. Ngayon naman ay nakatayo na ang inyong lola sa kalye na katapat ng Fort Pilar. Fort Pilar, also known as the Real Fuerte de Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Zaragoza or Royal Fort of Our Lady of the Pillar of Zaragoza, also Fort Pilar, is a 17th century military defense fortress built by the Spanish colonial government in Zamboanga City, Philippines. The fort, which is now a regional museum of the National Museum of the Philippines, 
is a major landmark to the city and it symbolizes the cultural heritage. Outside the eastern wall is a Marian shrine dedicated to Our Lady of the Pillar, the patroness of the city. Fort San Jose was the former name of Fort Pilar. It was renamed as Real Fuerte de Nuestra Señora del Pilar de Zaragoza in honor of the patron virgin of Spain, Our Lady of the Pilar. Marian apparitions. It was in 1734 when the relief of Our Lady of the Pillar was placed above the eastern wall of the fort, making it an outdoor shrine with an altar for praying. According to tradition, the Virgin Mary appeared to a soldier on December 6, 1734, at the gate of the city. The soldier asked her to stop. Upon recognizing her, he fell down to his knees. On September 21, 1897, at 1.14 p.m. in the afternoon, a strong earthquake struck the western region of Mindanao. The Virgin Mary made an apparition and according to the people who witnessed it, they saw the Virgin standing mid-air over the Casillan Strait. She had her right hand raised to signal the onrushing waves to stop. lang ng misa. Isang misa lang pala sa umaga. Mamaya ulit pa po yung misa. Saan mo pa gusto magsimba sa kasidral o dito? Kasidral na lang. Balik tayo po kasi dito sa... The Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception serves as the seat of the Archdiocese of Zamboanga. In 1956, the cathedral was relocated beside Ateneo de Zamboanga University, formerly known as the Jardín de Chino. According to statistics compiled by the Philippine government, the most dominant religion in Zamboanga City is Roman Catholicism followed by Islam and Evangelical Protestantism. Other religious practices and denominations in the city were Buddhism, Veganism, Animism, and Sikhism. Bakit nga ba tayo namang masyal o gumagala ang naglalakwacha? Kung sanayin natin makita ang mga magagawa,
magandang tanaw ng isang lugar ay syempre na ito natin madalaw at katipadating na ito sa lalong lalo na sa ating bayan na sinilangan. So, ang um, Zabuanga City po ay ang birthplace ng aking boy guapo na nobyo si Papa E. Okay, we stayed here at City Inn Hotel. Salamat, maraming salamat sa very accommodating at magbabait na staff ng City Inn Hotel at sa kanilang masarap na mga pagkain. Ayan, isa pang dahilan kung bakit tayo na mamasyal ay upang matikman ang mga pagkain na mabibili lang natin at makakain sa isang partikular na lugar. Eto, natikman ko na po ang famous na chikalang merienda sa hapon ng mga chavacan. At yan, yung marang. At ang aking paboritong biskwit ay natagpuan ko pa rito sa Zamboanga. This is from Bulacan. O ba diba? pati ang biskwit, lakwachera. Ayan, napakaganda, napaka-cozy ng kanilang dining area sa rooftop ng City Inn Hotel. So we stayed here for like two nights and three days. Hi guys, nagroon na kami. Di pa pa Alex? Nakain ako ng malaking atis. Nakikita niyo ako ay atis? Malaki yan. Ang tawag dyan ay marang. Ganito kumain ng marang. Pwedeng kutsarain. Yan, sinisimula na ng inyong lola ang kanyang epic chapakante. Walang ginawa kundi ang lumafang, lafang, lafang, lafang. Masarap po ang aming mga kinain. This is our heavy breakfast. Para naman pagkakalimu mga masyal, eh, energized kami. Full tank, higaka. Next, dito naman kami na nanghalian sa High Sun Market. This is a market and restaurant. Um, ikaw na po ang bahala o ang mga customers na ang bahala kung pumili ng mga fresh seafoods na nandyan, nakalatag at pagkatapos ay ipapaliwanag mo po anong class ng luto ang gusto mong luto sa inyong pumili ng mga fresh seafoods. So, yan, meron sila alimango. Yes, this is White Zamboanga yung famous juice sa Haisang restaurant. This is a combination of buko and durian. Yan, yung yung lola mo ng sweet and spicy tiger prawns. Malalaki nga. Kasi mahilig si Papa A sa hipo. At ako naman ay mortar ng pink adobo pusit. So ito'y pusit na inadobo sa kanyang sariling tinta, gulay at saka tokwa. Para healthy ang aming diet at meron pa kaming libre jelly kasi sabi ko birthday ni Papa A dapat meron silang regalo pang dessert sa magjowa na bumisita sa High Sun Market and Restaurant. Kinagabihan naman ay muli naglakad na masyal at nagtungo ang magnobyo sa Paseo del Mar. Bakit nga ba? Aba syempre, this is a very special date. Birthday night celebration, Papa E. Kaya naman, um, minabuti namin piliin itong Paseo del Mar at hindi kami nagkamali because this place is a fun place to be pagkagabi. It has live bands. Dito kami kumain sa barcode. So, merong live performers, uh, pwedeng umorder ng beer, open for everybody, the whole family, bata, matanda, muslim, kristyano, kabataan, estudyante, bungi, tomboy. So, this is a fun place to be sa gabi. Uh, open restaurant, nasa baybayang dagat. Kung sa araw, pwedeng mag-swimming sa my beach. Sa gabi naman, really fun, fun, fun. Talaga naman, wow! Okay, so approved kay Papa A yung Paseo del Mar, the barcode, the food, the vibes. Very safe kasi bago pumasok dito, the police, the military will check everyone's ID. And then, ganun din sa paglabas. So, really, this is an epic of 
very funny, memorable. Yan, kita naman sa mukha ni Papa A. So happy sa gabi ng kanyang kaarawan. At isa pang kainan na aming pinasyalan ay ang The Village Restaurant. Again, this place is an open theme uh, restaurant. Kasi saan a eh, hindi siya kulog. Hindi kayo nakatago. Yan. Malayang hahampas sa inyo ang hangin. Makikita niyo mga batang naglalaro. This village restaurant is also for the whole family. Uh, mabilis ang servisyo at yung food okay naman at saka swak sa budget. But of course, our favorite restaurant is Haisan Restaurant. At dahil pubinsya ang aming pinuntahan, nariyan din syempre ang bahal na tuba. Bonding with the childhood friends. Yan, binisita ni Papa Alex sa kanyang mga pinsa at saka mga classmates niya noong elementarya. Happy times again. Paminsan-minsan lang mayari to be with uh, your aunts and uncles and your childhood friends. So, we take time to visit them. Kumustahin. So, it was really a very epic date, a very epic vacation. Sa maikling panahon, we love the city vibes. I love the food and I love this airport. We heart Zamboanga, Philippines. Safe, fun, and beautiful city. At talaga namang the Latin city of Asia. Mula Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao, ay hayaan ninyong kasyal kayo ng inyong lola. But for now, bienvenidos sa ciudad de Zamboanga. Bye-bye! Adios! But we shall see you again. We shall visit the beautiful city of the city of flowers.